Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, 17th May, Thursday. Quick look at the markets here, see what we're going to do at the open. A lot of our levels have been taken out overnight. Kind of annoying when that happens. Sterling Yen, you can see, is through the 200 day. 149.20 paid. Didn't pay us, but if you're long and you're at a decent average, you got to leave your stop just below 149. The figure now. Um, Aussie Kiwi also snuck through that 109. The figure level. That was a little choppier, but 97 the low after the break. Aussie seems to be uh, pretty big. I'm not sure why. Gotta say, for a guy who started his career trading Italian lira, I have been a little bit behind on this five star coalition, Northern League coalition deal. I did some reading last night on it and sort of tried to figure out what the hell's going on. Uh, not super clear what the hell's going on because a lot of their policies don't make any sense to me. But you have to wonder is Euro, can Euro shoot higher uh, with this cloud now in Italy and the US yield at 310? I would argue the answer to that is no. Um, so we're going to concentrate a little more heavily on trying to be short Euros. Today we're going to be selling between the sort of uh, 118.30 to 60 area and Euro Yen the same. We're going to be selling Euro Yen between 130, 50, and 80. Trying to get a core short, looking for a risk off end of the week. BTPs got slaughtered yesterday. As a lot of my friends said, finally they got slaughtered. This is the BTP chart. That's a pretty serious down day. And now if you look at this chart, and I don't trade BTPs too often, surely we get below 135 today. Big psychological point, a lot of lows there. Um, if you were a momentum trader trading BTPs, you would sell through that low. We are not BTP traders, so just throwing that out there. You can watch the price action today just as a barometer of uh, what the heck's going on out there in the euro. So euro dollar, euro yen, we're going to be selling rallies on that. As far as other setups are concerned, I don't know, the best chart out there is Swiss yen, but Swiss yen sucks to trade, so... We're kind of in wait and see mode as far as as far as aggressive pinpoint action. Dollar Turkey, four forty three. Dollar Zar is lagging a bit. We still do like to pick this up, try and pick up low ones for a move eventually on Friday through twelve seventy three, and probably this two hundred day moving average at twelve seventy six. There's no way South Africa can become immune to higher U.S. rates and a risk-off, global risk-off deal that looks like is about to happen. So, try and pick up some dollars R uh, on the cheap. It obviously goes upside down below 12.18, and that's where our kill switch is on... Um, any kind of dollars are play. Equities. Higher yesterday, but an inside day. So kind of meaningless in a sense. Didn't get above 31. Didn't get below 02. We've been 2025 20, trying to decide where to go. My guess is it goes lower today. So. We're not trading the S&Ps. 
We're focusing more on the currency side of risk off with euro dollar and euro yen. As far as um, news out of Europe, looks pretty light. Um, U.S. We've got um, jobless claims. We got ticks out of Canada. Philly Fed and consumer confidence out of the U.S. and leading indicators. All sort of marginal releases. Um, so we'll be focusing on the charts. We'll be focusing on euro and euro yen here today. And if you have your sterling yen on, you know, put your stop at break even now, and look. Let's look at it as sort of a free trade. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, as we feel like we're heading into a pending risk-off scenario, but sterling yen is um, is a beast and does whatever it kind of wants. Sterling could easily just go higher just because the market's short, um, and dollar yen could just go higher because of rates. So, otherwise, uh, euro and euro yen are the focus. I've said enough for the morning. Wish you guys a good day. Good luck today. And I'll see you at the New York Open. Ciao.